Hi, welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burridge, I'm here in my studio, and I'm gonna show you how my color wheel works for me. So, before you start a painting, select the color combinations from anybody's color wheel, whether it's my color wheel or anybody else's, use the color wheel, it works. Let me show you how mine works. So for this demo, I'm using my color wheel. I call it the Goof Proof Color Wheel. You'll notice here I use four colors here on the color wheel for a painting. So here's my dominant color. This is my focal point color and the two spice colors. So I've already gotten out my blue. Here's my dominant color. Here is the focal point color. Here's my yellow and here's my violet ready to go. And now I'm going to put on the first coat. Again, I do this whether it's, look, I'll squeeze it right out there, right onto the paper. This is my acrylics. Whether I'm doing an abstract or something that's more recognizable, I make sure I always start off loosely, just like this. This is my color combination. Combo, the dominant color being this blue, compose blue number one. I'm even going to put some white in here, just because I can. That way I have different variations of that color blue. All right, there we go. Let me even put some more in here. There we go. So my subject matter will be a landscape. That will be the horizon line right up in there. My horizon line, okay. And now ready for the focal point color. So this being a landscape sketch, it's still wet. I'm going to determine this is where I'm going to put the focal co point color. Squeeze it out. There we go. That's my focal point color right there. It could be a barn, something like that. There we go. Put that color somewhere else. Helps to hold the whole painting together. Rub it down a little bit, but make sure that the focal point color has the cleanest, straight color, pure color right out of the tube. And if I Put it somewhere else i make sure i tone it down just like this so now i'm going to put in the two spice colors one was yellow one was violet the painting is still wet so i'm going to wipe some of that away here's the yellow here's my violet now again the whole idea of the spice colors is to augment and support the focal point color so this is rather abstract right now it's very loose here comes the other color the violet color again very little bit don't put a whole lot in there just a little bit this is the beginning it's not meant to be the complete end of a painting i'm going to lighten up the sky a little bit put some crazy clouds in there there we go clouds <laughs> and made this more dramatic it's a loose beginning, meant to be a loose beginning, not meant to be the final painting at all. I always like to say under every painting should be a, a loose painting first, a loose abstract painting. So that's the beginning, that's how it works for me, using dominant color, just like this, blue, but look at all the different kinds of blues I have. The focal point color, it's on the horizon line in this particular landscape. It's a building, a barn, something like that. And again, the yellow and the violet, which helps to augment it. And I call them my spice colors. And don't have it too bright somewhere else because it'll draw the eye right there. So this is a pretty simple beginning, but this is exactly how I start my paintings every day in the studio and also all of my workshops too. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching this. And thank you very much for all your comments. And if you have any more suggestions about paintings I should be doing for you on these Bob Blasts, just let me know. See you on the next one.